If you want to increase your bench press numbers the fastest and safest way possible, adding weight on the bar every time you train is not the way to do it. Hey guys, Umberto from Umax Fitness here. So you have a very weak bench press and you can't find a way to get any stronger. You have checked and rechecked your form and you see no issue with that. I had the same issue some time ago. Prior 2013, prior my motorbike crash, my bench press was around 80 kilos at its best. On my motorbike crash, I broke my left shoulder, damaged my left hip and ankle. So for some time I was off the gym completely. When I got into bench press again seriously, it was already 2000. 2016, so we are talking about three years with no bench pressing. And uh, from 2016 to 2021, I got stuck at 100 kilos. I couldn't get over this number. Back then, I wasn't really serious about getting those numbers up. Plus, my shoulder was still hurting, so I was like, okay, better be more conservative and leave it as it is. During the pandemic, I thought I had the best chance uh, to take care of my shoulders and maybe improve my numbers overall. During the time, I realized that there are a few factors that can determine the amount of weight you're going to lift in future. The bench press is the most performed upper body exercise by males in any gym in the world. It tests your upper body strength, especially the capacity to press away. It works on chest, arms and shoulders. So to increase your overall bench press performance, there are three main things I would like to focus on. The number one is programming. With a program, you're basically planning where you want to be or where you want to go with your exercise routine, with your training, and so you're going to be able to at least progress towards the results you're looking for. Remember, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So what a good program should have? You need to first to choose your exercises. You need to see what exactly need to achieve your goal. So we are looking at the specificity space if path space if it yeah you need to check exactly what exercise you need what you're failing on on your bench press we need to look at how to cause overload how to progress and so on another thing you need to look at when you're getting a program or maybe preparing your own one is to understand well where you are at the fitness level so if you're a beginner you might see improvements every single workout that you do so that's all right there's a beginner gains and that phase will not last longer. When we go down the, the media level, you are possibly making a progress a week by week. And again, that's very quick to achieve and they won't last long either. So first phase is going to last possibly max three months. Then from three months to one year, it's possibly an intermediate level. After that, you're going to plateau a bit and making gains is going to be really hard. So you're possibly going to see improvement on a month to month basis or even a yearly basis. Once you know exactly where you stand with your fitness levels and with your progress and uh, where you want to go then you can start to lay out the days you wish to train it can be once twice three times a week obviously if you want to improve your bench press like a pro you will need to do more i suggest to bench press at least three times a week if you want to see your numbers bump up really quickly Three times might seem a lot, but if you organize it well, you will see you will be okay bench pressing three times a week. If you read the starting strength by Mark Ripto, you will see that um, he's suggesting you to divide your three training days uh, with uh, focusing on three different variables. So your day one is gonna be a volume day, the day two is gonna be a recovery day, and day three, the intensity day. The volume means you are focusing on getting as many reps as possible with a decent amount of weight so we are talking about 70 percent maybe more than your one rep max or you can focus as it says on starting strength on 80 to 85 percent of your friday weights I will personally use those variables a little bit different. The volume day, I will call it the hypertrophy day. That's the day that you want to do, yes, a lot of reps. They need to be heavy enough to cause changes in your body, physical changes over the time. So you want to focus on building some muscles. So the recovery days are more days that you focus on technique. You might need to have a specific assistance exercise to fix some specific bench press problem. And your rep range is going to be 10 plus in 
the case. So something that is not too heavy. If you're not sure about what kind of assistance exercise you can use to build a bench press strength, I'm gonna leave a link up here for a video I prepared some time ago with the 10 best bench press assistance exercise you can use to actually build some strength. And then the intensity day. The intensity day is where you try to get really heavy with your weights. You don't wanna do too many sets and your reps will be possibly from one to five. It depends on your uh, on what stage you are on on your, on, on your cycle. Sets needs to be also just depends on what you wanna achieve. So on the volume day, you're gonna have possibly three to four sets in total. Uh, when we talk about intensity, you can go from five, six, uh, six sets, but with very low reps. And when we talk about recovery, you don't wanna do more than two to three sets. Just because you wanna actually emphasize the recovery phase, you wanna still keep muscle moving, but you don't wanna hit it too hard. The second factor that can drive your weights up is going to be food. In order for you to be able to lift really heavy, you need to be in a calorie surplus all the time. So if you try to cut down weight or to try to cut down some fat, you're possibly not going to get the best numbers ever on a bench press. Ideally, you want to increase your calorie intake and possibly change also the ratio that you're, you're using at the moment. You want to have a, a good split where you can build a good muscle mass and also a great amount of strength. Ideally, I would suggest a 40 40 20 split where you have 40 percent protein 40 percent carbs at 20 percent fat so how many extra calories should you eat well if you're doing bodybuilding style you know to bulk up you might need at least 500 calories to to get a good size in this case because you're working on strength i will say no less than a thousand a thousand will be a lot of extra calories so be careful because you're gonna have to give up at your six pack at the moment and the third factor that can drive your bench press up is technique. If you're not sure your form is quite right, I'm gonna leave a link for another video, another bench press video on the description area and up here, so you can have a quick look at it once you're finished with this. When it comes to bench press, there are four main points I would like to focus on to generate the biggest strength ever. The first part is the grip. Don't go too wide, don't go too close. You need to find the comfy position where you can keep your elbows directly under your wrist and you're not gonna exert too much pressure on those joints so you can generate the most strength in that position. Also, make sure that you squeeze the bar as hard as you can. The second thing is the bar path. The barbell it should not be moving on a straight line. Actually, it's gonna go a little bit down when it moves towards your chest to go back again up when it goes in front of your shoulders. So the bench press is one of the few exercises where the barbell does not move on a straight line. The third thing I will focus on is your lower back arch. That means that you need to position your feet far back enough in order for you to create this lower back arch and so get your chest out and get it closer to the barbell. That position is highly used by power lifters, so it's the most preferred option because you can lift much more weight. Be careful not overdoing it or you might end up having back pain issues. The last one is the leg driver. Once you have your legs far back enough, you need to create tension and stiffen up legs and glutes before you lift. Once you get the barbell lower to your chest and you're preparing to push it back up, you need to engage those legs and the glutes again even farther to push the barbell up faster. When I talk about strength, I like to talk a lot more about strength chain and your legs is the biggest part of your body that can generate this strength, that can generate power, and that can help you to push more weight. The main three factors that can influence your bench press performance. So we're talking about programming, food, and technique. If you think that you need more information about bench press, I'm gonna leave a link here uh, with all the playlists, with all the bench press videos I have prepared for you. I think we are done for today. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment the video, and I will see you on the next one. Ciao!